हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट कंक्लूजन और सम इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट यूजिंग फर्स्ट लो थर्मोडाइनमिक्स फर्स्ट इज आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस इन आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस टेम्परेचर इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो इंटरनल एनर्जी इज डिपेंड ऑन टेम्परेचर फ्रॉम हीयर we can write du equal to zero because temperature is constant so no variation in internal energy so from first law we can write d q equal to dw first law is d q equal to du plus d w so du is zero so you we can write dq is equal to dw second is from here means heat supplied in an isothermal process is entirely to do work against external surroundings adiabatic process in adiabatic process dq equal to zero means no heat enter or leave from system so here we can write du equal to dw dq is zero so when a gas expand adiabatically work is positive gas expand adiabatically so du must be negative means internal energy of system would decrease internal energy decrease means gas will be cool and reverse is also true third is isochoric process in isochoric process volume is constant so from here v is constant so work done p d v equal to 0 so work done is zero from first law of thermodynamics we can write dq equal to du dw is zero so heat is absorbed by a system at constant volume internal energy increase and vice versa versa is also true means third fourth is isobaric process in this process pressure is constant now consider when a liquid boil its pressure and temperature remains constant pressure and temperature constant it converts into vapor means till whole of liquid is converted into vapor so dw we can write equal to p dv v final minus v initial v final minus v initial and dq we can write in term of latent heat m into l because it here phase change from liquid to vapor so term use latent heat here m is mass of liquid and l is latent heat of vaporization of liquid so from first law we can write dq equal to du plus d w so du equal to dq is ml minus 
minus work done is P V final minus V initial change in internal energy in term of latent heat so thanks for today